Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today I'm going to show you how to make a nappy cake. Now, some of you may already know that I've got four daughters and my oldest daughter Chloe is 24 this year and she's having her second baby and she's going to have a little girl. So I thought I'd make this really cute little nappy cake. So what I'm going to do to start with is Obviously we need to buy some nappies. Now I've bought the Little Angels nappies from Asda because these are the ones that Clubby liked with Alfie. So I'm going to use exactly the same sort of nappies. But obviously use whatever nappies that you um, think that your recipient would like. And I've also cut out a base. Now what I've done is I measured out a big piece of cardboard cut it out and literally just covered it in tissue paper you can cover it in fabric all sorts of things if you didn't want to do this you could also get one of the cake boards you know the round cake boards that would be absolutely fine so obviously you need a base the base would depend how many nappers you put on the bottom part and kind of what um, style you do so just measure it out and all I did was add a tiny little bit extra around the edge now what we need to do to start with is to roll the nappies up so We've got the pack of nappies here, you get 70 in this pack and for the whole of this, the set and the stack that I'm doing I need 74. So I did actually buy some extra ones and I've rolled those up already. They are a slightly different size but um, what I'm going to do is use those ones on the bottom. So you get your nappies and then you need to roll them up. And what I'm going to use to secure them are these loom bands. I don't know if you remember, years ago, loom bands were so popular. And then they went really unpopular and you could get them for like 10 pence or something. I had to buy these from Amazon and I had to pay quite a lot of money for them because obviously we can't go out just shopping for anything at the moment. So I had to pay to get these delivered. So you get these little stretchy bands like this. And these are basically ideal for... Um, the nappies. Now what I do to roll them up is I start at this end and it just leaves you with a really nice end product so it's all like neat and tucked in. So you get them and you roll them round and roll them as tightly as you can like that and then you just get your little loom band and fasten it around like that and you need to do that 74 times. Okay so you need more than one bag of nappies. I bought the newborn and I've also bought some of the next size up as well. So you didn't have you don't have to do all the same size nappies if you don't want to. You could kind of like stage them and do different nappies. But for the the, the arrangement that I'm doing we needed 74. So I'm going to roll 74 of these now and then I'll be back with you. So I've got a stash of nappies now. So we need to do three layers. I'll show you how to do the top layer first. Now I've found that you kind of need a couple of pairs of hands to do this, but if you're doing it on your own, as I did, what I thought and what made it easier for me was to get some of this curling ribbon. So it's just that like florist's curling ribbon. Get that ready to start with. And then you want to arrange your nappies now the top layer is nine okay so you need nine nappies for this and what I did was start with one in the center and then I put the others around the edge and the bit that was like that not the flat bit I put towards the center and then just put the others all the way around like that now I found that this is a bit where you needed a couple of pairs of hands so when you've got it's not too bad on the center one on the on the top one um, but when you're doing the others it's really quite tricky and you need sort of lots of help so I found when you've got them like that get yourself a bit of string tie it round and it doesn't matter if it's not really really tight to start with and that will help you to put the nappies into place and kind of keep them in place. So this is the top tier. So you want to tie this little section off. And with the other tiers, we will do exactly the same thing. And it just helps us to, um, to keep them still because you know, you're all fingers and thumbs and you just can't hold them. So that's the top bit, snip off these extra bits like that. So that is how you would do the top tier. Okay, so that's all done. For the second tier, you start in exactly the same way. So you start and do exactly the same thing again. Right, 
Right, so there we go. So that's the next one. So that's basically identical to this. But what we have to do for the middle layer is, once you've tied it off, go around again with another layer of the, um, the nappies. And by doing the first section, tying it off, it just stops them all falling everywhere. Because when you get to a certain stage, they're just gonna, they all flop out and then you can't catch them. So I found that this is a really good kind of tip. And also another tip is put your nappies into piles. So roll them, put the first um, tier nine in one pile, then put 23 in another pile, and then put 42 for the bottom base in another pile as well. So I found that that helps and you can kind of like just fit them, them all around. Um, so these are standing up at the moment. They are kind of behaving, but they don't always. So I can see where the middle is, and I'm just going around the edge. And once we tie it and pull it tight, now I've got a couple more I need to put in. So before I start messing about with them, what I'm going to do is start and tie this round, but not do it up. I'm going to hold it with my hands so it's not done up tightly. And then slide them in and this just helps to get them all into position and then you can kind of neaten them all round and then that's the point where you pull it tight like that and then just snip off these bits now don't worry about your string because we will hide that as well so that's the next stage and as you can see it's starting to build up so what we need now is just another layer around the bottom and to do that we do exactly the same thing start off with a small one make it a bigger one and then go around yet again with another layer around the edge so you'll be using 42 in total on the bottom one right so I'm going to bring this in this is the bottom tier and if you notice these are slightly different size nappies purely because I ran out so we've got those all nicely tied in again with the with the string there and then you pop this one there and then this one goes on the top and as you can see it's starting to build like a really cool looking cake now decoration wise i've seen so many kind of different ideas some people as well rather than filling the whole of the base with these nappies they use an old sweet tin or chocolate tin like a um, celebration tin like this and they put the nappies around the edge and then in here they put all sorts of products um, you know you can put cotton wool toiletries that sort of thing and then they put a towel in and then kind of stack it up around there so that's another idea but I wanted to do mine completely full with nappies you can also in decoration put the miniature toiletries around as well they'd be really really nice so you can decorate it and add all sorts of bits and bobs if you want to now what I'm going to do is kind of build it up so it actually looks like a real cake and I've got some of this mesh here and I've cut it into different size strips so what I've done is I've got my hot glue gun on there and I'm going to wrap this I've cut out three different sizes as a large one a medium and a small of these and I'm going to go round the middle. This is this is what we're going to do to hide it and make it look a bit more like a cake. So we're going to go around the middle with this mesh. I don't know if you can see it on the bottom row. I'll do the middle one so you can see there. So we'll go around the whole of the middle. And then we will cut off the excess and we'll glue it around the back just to hold it. Right, so I've gone around every layer with those. Remember, this is how I'm choosing to decorate them. This is just ideas. You can do it exactly how you want. So what I'm going to do once that's on is I thought some of this pink ribbon would look really, really nice through the middle. I'm going to bring it a bit closer just so you can see. And remember, if you're doing blue, you do everything in you know the designs that you want. If it's for a baby shower and you don't know what colours that you're going to do, you could do a pink or a blue layer. Um, you could do greys, lemons... So you could do all sorts of things. So just kind of adapt the colours to, to your need, really. So I'm going to put some of this pink ribbon around the middle on all the tiers, and then we'll do the next part. Right, so that's that part done. I just want to show you a few of the decorating ideas. I'm not going to do this, but I want to show you. We've got some feather boa type stuff here. You could put that around the base 
Again, you can get this in pink, blue, white, whatever colours you want. You could go around the bottom, that would look really sweet. These are from an actual cake shop. You could get those, maybe pop those in. They'd look like, you know, really pretty and cute. You can get white ones and all sorts. Also ribbon, you can play about with lots of different ribbon. There's mesh, you could make some bows, double bows, that sort of thing. Put those all the way round. They would look really, really cute. Just want to show you as well what it looks like with white on top of the pink because I think this looks lovely. Let's put that around there just so you can see that but I think that looks really really pretty too. So that's another option. Right but what I'm going to use, I'm going to put this little bear, I think it's a bear, on the front. It's from Baby Grund. So that's going to go at the front there. And I also bought these shoes from Primark. They're in the sale. I think they were literally like £2 or something like that. But because of the grey and the pink, I love grey and pink together anyway. So I'm going to try and see if they will stay there. So they're going to go there. And also Teddy was. Now I have bought, um, I ordered her another Teddy from Jelly Cat. And it's like a comforter and it's the girl version of the one that I bought for Alfie. But this one here is another one that I bought her from Dobby's Garden Centre. Do you remember when we went to the Garden Centre? That one was 13 50 I'll take the price off. But that would look really, really cute. I thought she could kind of carry that around like by its legs or its ears or something. Um, but again, the comforter that I've got, I would match, but that hasn't arrived yet. So I'm going to pop this on the top. I also want to show you this one. This is another one. This is a, it's a girl teddy. That would go really well because the colour of the top. So, you know, because it's the pink's exactly the same. I'm just going to move the camera up. So that would kind of sit on there. But I think it's a little bit too big. So that's why I'm going to use this jelly cat one. Even though this isn't quite the right pink. I think the size and the cuteness kind of fits in with it really well. Right, so that will go on the top. Now, if you find that your teddy isn't sticking and sitting where it needs to, then you could possibly put some kind of rod or something as a temporary measure at the back. Once you've got your cello wrap on, that should hold absolutely fine. But as the bunny's sitting up there, I'm not sure it's gonna sit just as it is. So I might just temporarily st stick her. Oh no, she's gonna sit, she's being good for now. Um, now also, you can put some flowers around I think this would look quite cute. Pink flowers look, would look really sweet, but I haven't got any of those left. I really need to get some more. So I think, let me just move my camera down slightly so you can see some flowers maybe dotted around the edge would look really cute. So I think I'll put those as it goes around. So it, it looks like a real cake as well as a pretend cake. Do you see what I mean? So we're adding those extra little touches. So it's babyish, but it's still quite classy and it's not, you know, too babyish. So I'm gonna put a few more flowers around the top and then I'm gonna wrap it up. And literally, that's the base of it. And we'll pop a bow on the top and that'll be us done. Right, so that is the cellophane over the top. And at the top here, I've just cut it at an angle. I always cut things at an angle at the top there. So if I just sort of scroll down there, you can see. And at the bottom, I've put a little decoration that I literally made myself. Um, I'll show you that in a little bit more detail at the end. I just stuck that on with some hot glue onto the ribbon. Now, decoration-wise, what I'm going to do is I've tied that around the top, and I really like how these come down. So I'm going to curl those. So I'll put a few more of these in, and I might as well mix a little bit of the pink curling ribbon, because I think that would look really really cute so I'm going to put some extra bits around the top here and I just thought that would add something and I'm going to put a big bow at the top I've got some spotty pink ribbon that I got from Hobbycraft so first of all I'm just going to put some more of this I think it looks really pretty with it all sort of cascading down I love the white on it too so I just put another couple of those and then if I grab my pink and then I've got my pink curling ribbon as well over the years I've collected quite a few different colours of curling ribbon you can buy it from eBay so just um, pop curling ribbon into the search right so I'm going to really carefully curl these um, I don't want them too tight, so I think they look nice when they're a bit longer and not too tight curls. So I'll curl these, they're going to be all different sizes, some long, some, some short. 
and then we'll put the um, put the bow on the top. Right, so I'm just going to show you how I'm going to tie the bow on the top. I've got some ribbon here, and I've just wound it round together with some pink and pink spotty and some like cream sheer stuff and it's just like that I've just gone around a few times I would have liked to have gone around a bit more but I've run out of this pink um, stuff on a continuous length I've got a little bit here um, but I haven't got any on a continuous length so what you need to do is you can do some slits here in the middle if you want to and it just like helps it to sort of like push together and then get yourself some ribbon and go around the middle just to tie it all together and then once you've done that open them out and you'll be sort of like pulling them backwards and forwards and it will fluff into a really really sweet nice puffy bow and here we go so that's it completely finished and there's the bow on the top I've just put a little piece of ribbon around the top there to make it look like a bow and kind of just puffed it out a bit so I think you'll agree that that looks really, really, really cute and I absolutely love it. I can't wait to give it to Chloe and the baby. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all okay. I hope you've enjoyed this um, video and I will see you all again very soon. You take care. Bye for now. <laughs>